going to be working on studio houses again today. I have five studio houses that I need to do. And also a baseball field. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This one has a much shorter driveway than the others. Has a door roughly here. We have a window next to it. Maybe I should move it over by one. This house is made up of uh, three rooms, a small bedroom, bathroom, and an open area for living room, dining room, and kitchen. 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And the door to this bathroom is roughly here. And there's a door to the bedroom roughly here. Okay, I'm going to use light blue wool for the bedroom. I'll use birch for the living area. Since it'll give a wooden floor, nice wooden floor feel. And also white terracotta for the bathroom. And this house only has two windows, much like the very first house I worked on, on this, in this subdivision. There is a window in the kitchen, or overlooking the kitchen area, and there's also a window by the front door. Okay, front window and front door are in. Side window overlooking the kitchen area is in. 
And now the two interior doors. Next thing to do would be to put in the ceiling and the roof. Okay, one moment. The roofs of all these houses are dark blue uh, tiled, but there's, I don't really have a dark blue tile roofs. The closest one is this purple roof. It has a tile look, but it's a bit more purple than blue or on the purple side of it.
Okay, that takes care of the first of the five houses during this stream. I'll just do the driveway and then I'll start working on the next of these last five for the subdivision. This next house is made up of two rooms, a bathroom and a, this is a studio type apartment again. The living room, kitchen, and dining room and bedroom are all in one room. one of the windows right here which looks into the bedroom area of the house house right here.
front door is roughly here with a window next to it. And there are only two windows in this house. Like many of the other studios, it's a pretty small house. Or studio type house homes. terracotta again for the bathroom and birch for the living room area well the rest of the house basically Care the interior and exterior doors. Next thing to do is just place in the ceiling for the first floor and the roof. I'm basically using a two-step method to 
sort of make the uh, roof seem a bit less steep. Okay, so that takes care of the next house. Still got three more to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen. Maybe.
door to this house is not actually on the driveway unlike the others. And it's just off the driveway. Okay, that takes care of the bathroom. This one's a two room house as well. When I played on um, Project Zone Boy, this is one of the houses I've appeared in or spawned in upon creating the world. One of the windows is by the front door. One window is by the side. Looking over the kitchen area, which is right here. And the last window is sort of lined up with this window. And looks over where the bedroom area is, which is in the back. And this nook right here. For a small house, it maximizes its size and its layout.
Okay, that takes care of the windows and the interior and exterior door. Next thing to do is to put in the ceiling and the walls. Not ceiling, but ceiling and the roof.
Okay, two more houses to go in this subdivision. So the door is roughly here, and there is a window right next to it. This house is made up of two rooms. One bathroom and one room for pretty much everything else. And it has three windows. One by the front door, one by the bedroom area which is in a nook. One by the opposite wall of uh, the second window. It looks towards the bathroom door and has a view of the bedroom and also the kitchen area which appears to be at the front. on the back. And the door to the bathroom appears to be right here. The kitchen area for this house is near the front door, in this nook. And how this house pretty much separates itself is the use of these nooks and the use of a central bathroom to separate the various parts of the house into smaller nooks. With the living room occupying the back part of the house in the more open area.
And the bedroom area in Project Zomboid is roughly here. For this house at least. Okay, exterior door and window by it. Window looking into the sort of living area, and also there's a desk right here in the Project Zombwood game. And window looking into the bedroom. And I grabbed the wrong door. And finally, window, I mean, doorway into the bathroom. There's no window in the bathroom. Next to put in the ceiling. And I'm going to fix part of this by making a sort of molding effect in the bedroom area and that's sort of to correct the fact that part of the ceiling is going to be flat in this area. The rest of the roof is pretty straightforward.
Okay, so that takes care of the next to last house. Just one more house for the subdivision. forgot to put in the there's a sort of patio area for this house right here that extends quite a ways Almost as if they were just a little bit off when they were placing the house down. But I mean, it still works. It works as a good patio area. And the same sort of thing happens with this house as well. This house too has a door that's not on the driveway, like many of the other houses in this subdivision. It is just to the right of it. And this house right here is made up of three rooms, similar to the very first house that I worked on. And this subdivision at least. The door to the house is right here. With the door to the bathroom roughly here. One is by the front door, and the other looks into the kitchen area, which is in the back here, and is sort of lined up with this. 
No, I'm gonna move it one to the side. There's still one more room to do, it's in the back of the house. And it is a small bedroom. So the bedroom is roughly here. Okay, window to looking in from the kitchen and window by the front door in front door is in window on door to the bathroom is in and door to the bedroom is in
Okay, so that handles the last house of the subdivision. Now it's placing down a lot of trees. I'll come back and I'll do the grass later on. Trees on the other side of the fence. Just here. The next part's gonna be a quite a bit harder to place. That is to work on the baseball field. I'll put in enough of the sand that let, lets me know exactly where the diamond is. And then I'll start putting in some of the trees. Or as close to, the, to where the diamond is as I can get it. Excuse me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
17, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Twenty thirty four. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nineteen, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty eight, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, forty four, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty four. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seven, eight, nine, twenty, 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 Okay. This will be the start of the baseball field. One, two, three, four. Right here.
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You might have to use baseball dimensions rather than this. Maybe more of a softball or a kid's softball field. This must be 18. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18.
So this will amount to pretty much a sand lot.
that should allow me to place in the, a lot more trees now. And that mostly is to measure out exactly where some of the tree breaks should be. Since it's not a complete line of trees back here. So I'll let those grow in. I need to fill in this area too. Once I've got the spruce trees in, I'll just let them grow in as they will while I work on the rest of the sand area in the baseball field. Well, softball field or baseball field, don't know which one it is. Feels like a kid's softball field since the measurements seem to be closer to that but in here it's the measurements for a baseball field
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Ten, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen.
Certain parts of the sand areas grass. So what I'm doing is measuring out roughly where that grass should be. There's only one more to do. And the rest of it is sand.
Okay, now to fill in a lot of this area with uh, birch trees and oak trees. Birch trees to give contrast and oak trees to fill out the area. few of the spruce trees haven't grown in so I'm going to use bone meal on those first before I start putting in the birch trees and the oak trees. While that's going in, I'm going to begin putting in some of the grass. Some of it is in areas in which hasn't really seen the mower in a while. It might not be s mowed easily because of the trees or the population of trees. There are quite a few more trees than is in the project zomboid map but I thought uh, this line of trees made it look better.
some of the more open areas that has a lot of um, overgrown grass as well. So I'm going to get those as well. For this baseball field, um, this back part of the field is pretty much overgrown. And there are certain areas along the baseball field itself that are overgrown as well. I'm gonna leave some of the bare patches in. Okay. Now there's some grown over areas right here, but in patches. Need to do one more lot or so. I think one lot should do it. There. And around these houses, some of the uh, grass has grown quite a bit. Others, it's in patches, not necessarily consistent. And part of the reason why these those saplings hadn't grown is you have to be a certain distance from the sapling f in order for any sapling to grow. And the baseball field was just a little bit too far away for that.
Okay, so that should do one more flyover. A little bit more grass back here. Sort of thin out just a little bit. And that'll be it. That handles the rest of the houses from this subdivision. And I did five of them today, and I'll do a flyover to five that I worked on. That's starting with this house right here. And then this house, and then these three right here. I also placed in the grass and some of the trees back here to complete this area right here. And a lot of the grass right here is sporadic, mostly because it hasn't been mowed in a while. So the grass has grown in sporadically. And I also completed the grass back here. And also completed this uh, baseball, well, or kids softball sand lot. I might put in just a, one more line of sand. I'll just do three. completed uh, this tree area around the baseball field and also a small parking thing right over there or parking area which is uh, placed out by the the sand parking just the sand parking lot nothing too fancy And also during the last uh, downtime, I extended out the uh, railroad track and also this line right here. I'm going to put some trees in in this area right here. Let's see what time it is. Oh, I can do that now. Quite a f there's quite a few railroad tracks along this back area right here. There's also a, um, a train station that I'm going to get to eventually. Once I've completed all the houses of Mondrog and start moving towards the outer areas and the halfway point in terms of the actual town of Madrog. There's quite a few trailers in this other area and there's still quite a few houses still. So it's a little bit hard to gauge in terms of number of houses left if I'm at the halfway point. But I'm pretty close I imagine.
once I've done this small strip of trees right here then that'll be it for the stream to be slightly careful when working by this fence since the trees could damage it when they spawn in particularly the oak trees if they are too close Okay, and that is it for this stream. The next stream I'm going to be working on houses again. And there's four houses in particular in this area that I'm going towards right now. Don't know if I'll be able to get all three into one stream since these Two of these houses at least are two story. Yeah. Two of the houses in this block right here are two story houses. And they're they've got they're a decent size, but I should be able to get all four of them in, maybe. And there's two one story houses over here. So it may be two to three houses, depending. I mean, at least should at least get two, three houses in at a minimum. I've noticed that a, I'm able to do three houses during one stream without too much problems. But I should be able to get this entire block in. Let me make sure I've got the right block. Okay, yeah, that's the right block. Here, there's a huge amount of houses. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine houses in this area right here, so likely I'm going to do this block during the next stream, and the one after that, I'm going to be working towards this area right here. Probably going to take two streams to do this this area. It's a little bit more complicated because these houses are very close to each other 
and it also involves fences as well and then I'll be continuing to work along the city towards this way One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six houses in this immediate area right here. In this large uh, blocked off area. As I said, I'll continue to work on, at any rate, the next stream that I do will be this block right here. And thank you very much for watching the stream, and that is it for now.